So coming up this week, I'm going to be doing something that I haven't done before, but at the same time, doing something that I've done loads of times before. And the first thing that I haven't done before is very similar to something I've done before. Confused? You will be. On this channel in the past, I have mentioned the fact that I'm not really a morning person. I don't do mornings, it takes me a while to get going. Some of you definitely are morning people. You get up full of vim and vigor and ready to go. Yeah, that's not kind of where I'm at, unfortunately. So my runs tend to be later in the day. But today, I have ventured out a little bit earlier than normal. Okay, it's not like first thing in the morning, it's probably about nine o'clock. So, but for me, that's a very early run actually. So, uh, to give you an idea of just how much this is kind of, doesn't really work for me, I had to stop recording this video, this is my second attempt, because I went to start my run just down here and realized I didn't have my watch on here, which I used to track my runs. <laughs> because, you know, my brain doesn't work in the mornings. So I had to go all the way home again, get my watch, and now I'm out for a take two. That gives you an idea of kind of, yeah, where, where my brain is at. Now I have done morning runs before, very rarely, and when I've done that, I've got straight out of bed, and I've gone straight out for a run. And that means that I have looked disgusting. Well, more disgusting, because I haven't had a wash, I haven't had a shave, I'm a, just a pathetic, smelly, horrible version of myself, and I've gone out for the run, and you know, it's okay, but I thought this is the slightly different part, because I thought today what I would do, I would get up, have a, just a very light breakfast, I would wash and shave, because if I don't shave, you see, I end up looking like Brian Blessed every day, you know, Gordon's alive! And uh, that, that is a problem, it doesn't, it's not a great look. So I got up, I had a wash, a shave, I've had a light breakfast, and I've waited about an hour or so, and now I am venturing out for a run. So this is the different part, because I haven't kind of done that before. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of see how it goes. Now, today, I'm gonna do a light and easy run, because in the last couple of videos, I've been talking about stuff that is perhaps a little bit more energetic. So I think particularly because it's first thing in the morning, and I barely know my own name at the moment, I think it's important that I just go out and just kind of drift gently in a gradual forwards motion. So that's what I'm going to do now. Let's see what happens. There we go, run complete. I did a 5k today. I set myself an open goal and just thought I'll see how I go. So let's stick the times up on the screen because I know you like to look at them. It was an easy run, so I wasn't pushing myself. Uh, and I went along the seafront a little bit, which was very pleasant, very nice to go along there. And actually, going out first thing, there's not too many people about, so, which of course is a bonus when you're out for a run, so that was very pleasant. And just kind of cruised along and had a very nice time. So that was good. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this sets me up for the day, because many of you have spoken about the fact that you think that going out for a morning run is something that really energizes you, sets you up and, and puts you on a good path. So I'm gonna be interested to see if that does that for me today. I've done so few early morning runs, I can't really remember what I felt like last time. I know that I hadn't had breakfast last time, and this time I had, I'd had a light breakfast, so I was a bit concerned, what am I gonna be like on the run? And we like to leave a couple of hours between eating and going out, and this was about an hour, but it was only a light breakfast. So. That was fine, that was okay, there was no issues there. Uh, so yeah, that was really good. Now, I'm very conscious of the fact that when I make these videos, you could be watching it five minutes after I've posted it, particularly if you've hit that notification bell. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit like, by the way, and subscribe, because that really helps out the channel. Just thought I'd throw that in there. But if you're watching the video, you could, of course, be watching this in five years time or, or whenever you know that's the thing about the YouTubes isn't it you you can watch it like whenever so I'm, I don't tend to put out kind of time critical stuff uh, on the channel for the simple reason that, that what's relevant what's happening now might not really be the case in when you're actually watching it however there is something going on at the moment that I thought I'd mention because at the moment you might have noticed in the news it's, it's quite depressing and um, goodness you know it's just awful at the moment so um, just to give a bit of context 
I'm recording this on the 28th of February, so we're just about heading to March 2022, and there's all sorts of stuff going on in Ukraine, we're just sort of coming out of COVID, oh goodness, it's all, and I think it's very easy, really, to feel quite, you know, down about all of this sort of stuff, and if you've got kids, you might be struggling with how you're going to speak to them about it. Um, I tried to explain the situation to my dogs, and uh, they seemed quite relaxed about it, I have to say. I sat them down, and they didn't seem bothered. So uh, that's quite good. I've obviously brought them up very well to kind of, you know, have a, a relaxed view of the world. So that's, that's really good. But um, yeah, you know, joking apart, it is quite tough, isn't it, at the moment. But I was sort of reminded of the fact, two things really. First of all, I've been around the track a few times. I'm a bit of an old git. And I can remember back when I was sort of a bit younger, there was stuff going on in Yugoslavia. And we were all thinking, oh goodness, you know, are we going to have to go over there and, and get involved with all of that? And uh, my nephew now, who's the same sort of age as I was then, was thinking the same thing about Ukraine. So, you know, it, these things kind of go around the generation before, people who were older than me, that happened with the Falklands, if you remember that. So, you know, this sort of stuff is going on all the time. And, and that's why I think it's quite good to kind of be normal, do some normal stuff. And like going out and running, I think it's a great thing. It does lift your spirits. It uh, makes you feel better. Kind of puts a bit of a perspective on things because the news is all very sort of, well, it's going to be, isn't it? Sort of negative and all the kind of bad things that are happening. So I think it's quite an attempt to turn it off, aren't you? But you feel like, well, you know, they're going through a really terrible time. So you feel like you should watch it and kind of appreciate what's happening. So uh, yeah, you know, so I, I think like, it's good to come out, start the week off on a really positive note, have a run, and I feel better about myself and I feel better about the world in general and just kind of, you know, hope it's going to turn out, you know, in a better way, maybe. But I want to kind of throw that in there because, you know, I don't like doing time critical stuff on this, uh, this channel. Anyway, it's quite noisy here and I suppose it's because people are sort of heading into work and that kind of thing. And if they are, they're probably going to be late. Uh, so I'm now going to go back, have a shower and start work myself a bit later on a Monday morning. So I'm going to have a bit to do, but that's fine. That's OK. Um, uh, yeah, I'll let you know next week how I feel I got on. How do I feel that this kind of worked for me as running first thing in the morning? And will it be something that I do more often? I don't know. Leave your comments below because I always love to read them. And uh, yeah, hit that like and subscribe button, as I mentioned earlier. And I'll see you for another video next week. Music